Hello everybody, my name is Leonardo and in this video we are going to check how to set the timetable correctly. So this is a video regarding to the time attendance of our software cross-checks standard. So let me show you uh, where can we where can we do this on the software. I have the software installed on my computer. This is the main screen of the software and I'm come to the shift settings and then timetable settings. So in this video I'm going to explain all these fields for you to to set a, a correct time attendance system, a correct timetable for your employees and in the next videos we are going to see how to put the shifts uh, assembled to the users, to the employees, so the assignment of them. So let's come back to the slide and I will explain you all these fields. So about the shift information, working time, I will explain you with a timeline. I think it's, it will be more convenient for you. And let's use an example of, uh, of a, a normal day, a normal labor day. So we are going to start the job or the unduty time at 8 o'clock in the morning and the off duty will be at 5 in the afternoon, 5 p.m. or 17 depending on the way it's your clock time. Second option or third option that we are going to set is the begin clock in. So we need to establish a time before the on duty time that will be the limit, uh, the first limit of the on duty time that is the begin clock the begin clock in time and after it there will be a limit uh, end clock in limit in other words uh, for for me for example if i'm an employee and i need to clock in eight o'clock in the morning i have a limit before it until six o'clock then after it until ten o'clock and the same to clock out. So the begin clock out, clock out time will start at 3 o'clock in the afternoon or 15. And the end clock out time will be at 7 in the evening. So these are my limits to clock in and to clock out my attendance. So we have here the limit to get in and the limit to get out. What will happen if we put a, a, a register or an event or a record outside those limits? For example, if I clock in at 5.30 in the morning or if I clock out at 2 o'clock in the afternoon or after 7. This system will recognize it as an invalid event. So the software just will not understand it and it will be just an invalid record. Or can be as a access control record. It will not be used in the time attendance uh, report. Late error allowance. So this function is to set the maximum limit for the employees on the even before the system count as a delay. So we can set there 15 minutes as an allowance time. And let's use an example. If the employee enter until 8.15, it will not be counted as a delay because it's inside the, the late error allowance. But if he punches in or he clocks in 60 minute, minutes after the dirty, the dirty time, the own dirty time, sorry, uh, it will be counted 60 minutes as delay because he passed the let the limit the total limit so it will be counted as 16 minutes as delay the same is for the next field that is the early error allowance this is the minimum limit for the employees of dirty event before the system count as a delay so let's put 15 minutes again and use the same example but to the off dirty time so the normal time is five o'clock in the afternoon or 16.45. So if he left 15 minutes before 
the, the normal of duty time, it will not count uh, off duty or uh, early error allowance. But if he clocks out for in 44, in other words, 60 minutes before the normal of duty time, it will be counted 60 minutes as delay. Workday. Count as workday. It's a number from 0 to 1 referring to how much a certain shift represents in a workday. When there is only one shift per day, we will use just one as the number to put in this field. But when there are two or more shifts, the sum of this, all the shifts should be equal one. Let me show you as an example. So this is a normal shift, only one per day, and we have in count as workday the number one because I only have one shift for the whole for the whole day. M very important. These fields must clock in and must clock out. They always need to be marked. So most of the technical supports uh, questions about time attendance, they don't they don't put this must clock in and must clock out. And after I will talk about overtime. This is a very common problem too. So for your reference, it's important that you uh, might know what is the function of this, when to use, when to don't use it, okay? So this is an example as a unique shift and we see the count as workday is with number one. Here is an example with two shifts, two timetables in the same day. My company, I need to establish uh, one shift for the morning and one shift for the afternoon. So. I will divide these two shifts, but the total sum of them needs to be one. Okay? If there are two shifts in your system, beware with the limits among them. This is very important too. Let me explain with examples. Take a look with me. The end clock out time of the first shift is midday 30 and the begin clock time of the second shift is midday 31 so there is a difference between them in other words if we have a mix of these these fields you might have some confusion of your software if you put a register or a record inside this same uh, common time between the shifts the software sometimes can record as uh, off-duty, sometimes can record as on-duty. So my suggestion is to avoid it. Shift information. Count as work time. It's a period in minutes referring to how much represents a certain shift within a work day. So it's the total time between the on-duty and the off-duty in minutes. Generally, this value is filled automatically. However, if your system does not have breaks, it's recommended to discount the rest time or the lunch time. Let me explain to you. So let's suppose we have one hour as lunch time uh, from midday to one o'clock, for example. So here I have the on duty time at eight o'clock, the off duty at seven o'clock. The sum between them would be 9 hours per 60 minutes, 540 minutes, but I will discount 60 minutes for the lunch time and the total will be 480 minutes, what I have just put in count as work time. So this is, for example, if I don't want my employee to put the records to leave for lunch and to come back after lunch, it's only one record for on duty and another one for off duty and that's all if break status are being used this configuration won't be necessary so that's what I'm going to explain now this is without break just continue it before explaining the other part as I mentioned sorry for that 
This is the example still with no break. So the example is clock in at eight o'clock, clock out at five o'clock in the afternoon. And when we go to the scheduling record analysis, that's how it's gonna be. And the time attendance report will be like this, eight hours of work time, discounting one hour as the lunch, like we said in the last slide. And then now we are going to explain how to put it with the break. So the under time at eight o'clock, off dirty time five in the afternoon, and the total work time is counting 540 minutes. So like this, I'm going to use the breaks. Let me show you in the record reports. So we have a clock in, eight o'clock in the morning, midday, I use the break status for lunch, one o'clock, I still use the same status to come back lunch, the software is intelligent. It will assign the first break with the second break and calculate how much time the employee was outside the company having this break. And five o'clock in the afternoon, we have the off duty. Scheduling record analysis will be like this. And the time attendance report it will be with a little difference in the out. For example, in this case, it's 60 minutes out. It's the same 60 minutes we had outside the company as break. So it's, a, it's one more detail this report will have that the other one not using the breaks will not be able to inform. So this is the main difference between them in the report. But physically, the difference is that the employee must record to leave for lunch and must record to come back after your lunch using break status. Well, for today that's all. I hope you have understood it correctly and uh, sorry for the delay in the videos. Uh, I'm being very busy these days but uh, if you have a question, if you need some information, please send me an email or comment in the, the video here. Subscribe to keep updated with the new videos and have a nice day. I'll be here to support you with all the Envy solutions. Goodbye.